Okay, welcome back to our series solving the 200 ton um, oceans navigation problem sections from the National Maritime Center. We're moving on now to question five. Question five reads on 12 July, your eight o'clock zone time position was latitude and longitude. Your vessel is on a course of 045 at a speed of 15 knots. What is the zone time of LAN? Looking at the answers, we can see that they're spread apart by about anywhere from two to six minutes or so, seven minutes there. So we need to be fairly precise, and that means we need to do some uh, some sailings, either mid-latitude or, or something, uh, or a plotting sheet to get us where we need to be in time to solve this problem. So there are two methods to solving this, and it's actually very similar to uh, problem number three that we already solved. So in that problem, we used mid-latitude sailing, and I said you could use a plotting sheet if you wanted. So in this one, we'll solve both methods, the plotting sheet and the um, mid-latitude sailings, and then we'll come back and, uh, and answer the question from there. So uh, first up is uh, kind of the preliminary information. And so we wrote down all of our information here, and um, we just need to kind of um, get, get some of the basics down about what's happening. And so, the first thing that I would do in this case is take a look at the nautical almanac and get a rough approximation of when um, local apparent noon is on this day. And so for the uh, 12th of July, 12th of July, I'll kind of come down here and look and I'll see that Meridian Passage is about 12.06 uh, on this day. So that gives me something to shoot for. So I might say that our uh, 12.06 is our estimate for time of LAN. And that's at all standard meridians. Okay, and our course we said was 045 degrees true. And so what is our distance uh, covered in this time frame? Well, we had our eight o'clock DR position and we're going to 12 o'clock. So that is 61.5 nautical miles. So that's what we'll cover over the course of that amount of time. Um, now, one thing I would say is like 1206 was our estimate, um, and we know that we're not at a standard meridian, so you could probably kind of estimate where the ship is going to be four hours later to a pretty high degree of accuracy, and then just answer the question that way, but we'll solve it uh, all the way through. So uh, first thing, why don't we go ahead and try the plotting sheet method. We need to find out where we're going to be at that time. And so I set up this plotting sheet again, I set it up in... Uh, 30, uh, I divided it in half, so each interval is 30 minutes. And I chose a mid um, longitude of 132 and a mid latitude of tw 2430. Here's our eight o'clock DR position. And we said our course was 045 for a distance of about 61.5 miles. So I wanna see where that'll put us so that we can uh, calculate our LAN from that position. So I'm gonna speed up the video while I plot this and uh, I'll come back to you once I have a solution. Okay, so I plotted out on the plotting sheet uh, 045 for 61 and a half miles, and I ended up with a position of 2458, 131, 41.5. So now I'll do the same uh, process, but I'll do it in terms of mid latitude sailing, and then we'll see if we come up with the same position. So once I have my C and my D, then um, it's just a matter of using the um, formulas to determine my L which is uh, D cosine C, my departure, which is uh, D sine C, and then um, solving out from there. So um, the neat thing about uh, 45 degrees is the cosine of it is the same for both of these. So if I was to do 61.5 cosine 45, it's gonna equal 43.48 seven degrees and since the cosine and sine of 45 are the same that's also going to equal 43.487 degrees for the p you can do out the math if you don't believe me uh, so l1 was uh, 24.25 degrees uh, the l that we determined was 43 um, not degrees, sorry, 43.487. And the uh, we'll convert that into 
degrees. Since we were heading north, heading north, uh, east is going to just be an addition of these. So that is going to equal 24.975 degrees. And we can convert that to position 24 degrees and 58.5 minutes. Likewise, for the longitude, we already determined our departure. So then we go into the difference in longitude, and that is uh, P over the cosine of the mid-latitude, which is, we need to figure out our mid-latitude. So our difference in longitude, if I do that out, is going to be uh, 0.7975 degrees. And so if our first longitude was uh, 132 and a half. Our second longitude then would be, because we're traveling to the east, we need to subtract it, so it would be 131.70, or 131.42 degrees and 42 minutes. So if we were to compare what we plotted on the plotting sheet for 1206 with what we came up with with our mid-latitude sailings, um, it's pretty close. So either one is fine. Uh, we solved them in both methods in this case. So the next thing to do is uh, once you have your position, your 1206 position, we're going to go ahead and then um, solve for the time of local apparent noon um, at our new position um, that we just determined. So we need to realize that this uh, 1206 is actually going to be at the standard meridian, 135 west. So we need to figure out how far away we are from that. We are at uh, 131 degrees and 42 minutes um, west. So that would make us 18 minutes, 3 degrees and 18 minutes away from the standard meridian. And so in the uh, nautical almanac, we can just take a look at how much that amount of arc is worth. So 12 minutes there. And about a little, a little bit more, another minute and 12 seconds there. So um, this is worth 12 minutes of time, and this is worth one minute 12 seconds, so we get uh, 13 minutes is our difference. And so from 12.06, we need to either add or subtract 13. And since uh, we are away to the east from, from our standard meridian, things are going to happen earlier for us. So we need to subtract that, and that'll give us uh, 11.53 for a final answer. And so comparing that to the uh, answers given in the exam, uh, we can see that although they are fairly close together, our answer is definitely the closest to 1152, so that would be the correct answer.